I think the U.S. Pr provides the best quality of higher education for all the problems that uh, it has, such as ever raising uh, uh, tuition, rising tuition costs, uh, far from ideal in terms of equal access, especially when it comes to minority groups. I'm a product of the American higher education system, and I uh, very much hope that my children would also go that way. Uh, this is a system that enables you uh, to think free. Uh, I think what, is, uh, what really distinguishes the American system is this critical and analytical um, skills that it provides you with, and also the confidence. This, this system raises you to have confidence, not that you know anything or everything, but that you are able to find out and that you are always open to learning. It encourages an attitude of lifelong learning. It encourages an attitude of unlimited opportunities and options that can be explored despite limitations and obstacles. Uh, and, uh, and I do think that, uh, of course, there are a number of excellent universities throughout Europe, but I do think that this spirit is really unique to the American uh, education system. We don't even know what the jobs of the future are. And when I mean the future, we don't know what the jobs in 20 years might be. Uh, to give you an example, right now at my university, we hired a specialist in social networking, PR. Just 10 years ago, such position did not exist. Uh, so I think the most important skill that any future generation would uh, need is flexibility and adaptability skills that are transferable from one uh, field to another, therefore the ability to learn and the attitude of lifelong learning and learning how to learn I think are key. Critical and analytical uh, skills as well as people skills and communication. Of course we should never ignore uh, specializations. A doctor could not be a doctor unless they go through a rigorous uh, curriculum in, in the field of medicine. Uh, but also we need to understand that uh, the future generations and even our generation do not have the luxury of having one profession throughout their life. They probably will be changing career tracks three, four, if not more times in the course of their life. We need freedom over curriculum, definitely. Uh, the state should not, especially in higher education, tell us what to teach. Even the university administration should not have too much control over what professors are teaching. We need freedom to organize. Students, faculty should be able to self-organize, should be able to start initiatives where they have political character or they, they are interest-based, chess club, musical, and so forth. We need to enable in such environment this self-organization because this makes uh, students responsible citizens and it helps them then uh, monitor their governments, uh, place checks and balances on government power, and uh, be able to judge, in fact, what their governments are doing. <laughs>